What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, RG3, and I'm here to talk that shit. My new crown development method for 2018. I've been sitting back, been peeping. A lot of crown videos popping up. Gotta talk my shit. Cannot have no crown videos out without RG3 dropping a crown method video. I'm gonna show y'all three different ways to develop and close your crown. First way is gonna be dry. Dry hair. Second, gonna be with a wash day. Wash day. Third is gonna be adding a, a moisturizer. So let's get into it. I washed last night, my hair is dry. So we're gonna start out with the dry method. Get right into it. You're gonna go right at the crown. And get the comb in it out. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it's got a line in it. I don't care if it's not full. I don't care, I don't care. What you're gonna do is go right at it with a comb. Preferably a small tooth, but this is all I'm working with right now. Study which way it's going. Whatever way that your crown is telling you is going when you're combing it is the same way you're gonna brush it, all right? So we're gonna go around and around and around and around till we loosen up the crown. The dry method, comb the crown, and then you get a hard brush, hard brush session. All right, so um, the key to developing the crown and closing the crown is not focusing, not bringing your strokes from the last wave. You bringing the strokes from where there is no waves at. I don't care if your crown is this huge, you gonna work from the inside of the crown out. I see a lot of people working on their crown and they stop, they start at the first wave that they see. That's wrong. You need to start inside of the crown. Inside of the crown. Inside of the crown. Okay? So stop starting the strokes below the last wave. Stop doing that. Because you ain't doing nothing but limiting how far you can close it. You need to be overlapping, bringing, bringing the brush through the crown, okay? Through the crown. So, you're going to practice bringing it through the crown, through the crown, through the crown, through the crown. And you're going to travel all the way around all the way around. Method. Okay, so we're gonna reset this. Now we reset. Moisture portion of the method is the most important um, part of the method, in my opinion, because some people's crowns are thin, and I see that a lot of y'all do not. Y'all do not listen to me when I tell y'all to put something for growth in your crown on a weekly basis. Y'all just don't listen. So since y'all don't listen, and a lot of y'all still out here with thin crowns, 
or slow growing crowns. If you put in a lot of crown isolation, you're gonna end up making your crown hair weak and even more thin if you're constantly going at it, isolating it, isolating it, isolating it without moisturizing it. You're gonna kill the curl. So today we're using Diva Moisture Cream, which I will leave the link in the description. I've been using it, so no Fugazi shit. If I put it in a video and I'm putting it in my hair, that means I use it. Shout out to Wave Up Diva. I love you. Squad sent it to me. I love. So let's do it some justice. Crown Moisture Method. All right. We can uh, ensure you, you're going to be making the hair strong, moisturized, and strong so it won't be weak. It, it will be able to withstand all of the brush work we're gonna put directly into the crown, okay? This is also gonna help stretch and soften the crown so you, when you brush and add it, you can create the wave, okay? Hard brush or medium brush recommended. You're gonna go through the crown. And this Diva Moisture Cream does not over curl which is why I chose to use it. I could have used Curl Enhancer Smoothie, but that, um, everybody does not have it. Everybody doesn't like it. So I wanted to use something that um, nobody would cry about. <laughs> so remember, go through the crown, through the crown, not around the crown. I don't want to hear this from y'all. Oh, my crown won't glow. Go through the crown. I don't care how ugly it make it look at first. You got a master going through the crown. Through the crown. and curly that's what you want in order to, to develop your crown it has to be soft and curly and movable not all stiff get you a good 30 minute crown session in that's if you working hard I mean if you slack like most of y'all be so we gonna reset again and how close it is picture doing this every day at least once a day for a couple weeks for a month for a wolf for two wolves and see what you get and last portion of the crown tip this is my favorite part it's on wash days the object of this is to take the wash day and go at the crown to not only learn your angles for your crown but to develop the crown while it's wet and soft. Let's get to it. So I put the shampoo in and what we gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all until like brush and get this crown, figure out where this crown is at. Um, Cause I just got done scrambling. So now I'm gonna have to find it again. Which one take me long? Let me, let me brush this shampoo in. Suds courtesy of my fluffy puffs with the crown. Remember I taught you previously in the video to overlap the crown, right? So it's the same thing, but with the shampoo, you're going to go at the crown, come right through the crown, brush every stroke through the crown, y'all. Just like when you wash and style, you're not supposed to let the crown be messy before you rag it up. Crown gotta be perfect when you wash and stop. You have too much suds, can barely see. So let's rinse some of this out this brush, y'all. It's too much suds. Shout out my lucky puss for the, for the sud game on.
going to close it up just for the simple fact that you've been brushing that area directly. You've been overlapping the waves in the crown in that area. If you got any questions, uh, hit me in the comments. I'll answer whatever I can answer. Again, just to recap the video, the first method is just dry combing it, going around in circles, figuring out which way it's flowing the best, and then following it with a brush. Second method is combing it out, adding in a moisturizer, and going at the crown with a hard brush. And the third method is wash day, crown torture. Uh, look at it, look how, look at it.